Hey guys, welcome back to the Oklahizer Disc Golf Channel. Today we've got another three disc review for you and we are revisiting understable mid ranges. So I've got my hands on a Comet, a Buzz SS, and a Meteor. All three of these being in the 2021 Tour Series Plastic. So we're gonna give them a couple of throws, see how they line up. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Oklahizer. This video is sponsored by Resistance Discs. Make sure and check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, their website, resistancediscs.com. Okay, let's first start by taking a look at the discs themselves. As you can see by the numbers up on the screen, all three of these discs have more turn than they do fade. They also have a fair amount of glide, and they all are about the same speed disc with the Comet being just a bit slower than the other two. So we're gonna start this video with some field work, some full send, slight hyzer release throws to give you an idea of how torque resistant they are. As you saw the Meteor there first with a slight right finish. And now moving on to the Buzz SS, you can see that dead straight carry with a reliable fade at the end. And finally, moving into the Comet, you can see when this disc is released cleanly, it just goes for days and doesn't actually finish too far right either. And that wraps up our first category, most torque resistant. With the Buzz SS leading the pack, then the Comet, so long as it's thrown smoothly, and the Meteor at the bottom, even though it is a bit more forgiving. And the next category we are going to look at is which discs are most likely to develop ground play. Starting off with the Comet here, you can see it's no surprise, very little ground play. It's likely something to do with that slower speed and the fact that it is beaded. Next, looking at the Meteor, you can see it comes in, hits about the same place, but does develop a fair amount more ground play. Then last, but certainly not least, the Buzz SS, coming in, hitting about the same spot, but just developing a ton more ground play, as you can see there from where they all three ended up. Now showing you guys those side profiles of which disc is most likely to develop ground play, with the Buzz SS leading again, followed by the Meteor, then the Comet. Next, we will be looking at turnovers to give you an idea of which disc is most likely to carry to the right on a right-hand backhand release when released at an Anheuser angle. I did have a difficult time tracking that Buzz SS, but this Comet definitely came in a lot nicer. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Meteor and see how it compares. And as you can see here, we're gonna get a nice flat to Anheuser release. It's gonna swing out left and then finish to the right, but not quite as far as that Comet did. And then one more time, we're gonna take a look at that Buzz SS since I was having such a difficult time tracking a clear disc on a nice sunny day like this. Hopefully these two throws give you a pretty good idea of how it compares to the other two discs. Now that brings us into which discs we believe is best for turnover shots. As you saw in the throws, the Comet was able to finish further right more consistently, followed by the Meteor, then Buzz SS. Next, we're going to look at Glide. Once again, on a turnover line, but this time a little bit higher, so you can see how much Glide they have as they finish down there to the right, with that Meteor just not really wanting to come down at all, almost. Moving into the Buzz SS, I really had to put some height on this one because the glide just isn't quite there. I think it's mostly due to that little more overstability the disc has. And lastly, the Comet, you just give it a nice easy throw and this disc just wants to stay in the air as long as it possibly can. And now as you can see, as far as how they line up with the Comet showing us the most glide, followed quickly by the Meteor, and lastly, the Buzz SS. Next, we're gonna take a look at a little bit more of an unconventional shot. Not very often do you need to throw understable mid-ranges forehand, but to give you guys an idea of how they perform, you can see that Buzz SS just carry dead straight with a reliable finish at the end, surprisingly. 
the Meteor with a little bit more left movement before it finishes right again when it slows down. And finally the Comet, you could see I got a little bit heavy on the hyzer here, so it didn't flip up quite as much and it carried quite a bit left. So you can see that you can throw hyzer lines with these. But fortunately, I did have a backup Comet that I was able to throw a lot better to give you a better idea of how they fly when thrown all the same way. As in a lot more of a straight finish. Now, as far as how they line up for ease of forehand, the Buzz SS is by far the easiest to forehand, followed by the Meteor, then the Comet is pretty difficult to forehand, probably because of how deep it is and the fact that it's beaded. Next, we are going to look at which discs are most forgiving to poor form, starting with the Comet. As you can see, a little bit of rounding and a little bit of off-axis torque just won't do it for the Comet, makes it go hard right. It's definitely a big finesse disc. Next, moving into the Meteor, as you can see here, that same kind of release, it doesn't want to stay up as much, but it is definitely a little more forgiving. And lastly, the Buzz SS, being the most overstable of the three, as you might imagine, it is the most forgiving to a little bit of off-axis torque or rounding. So if you are looking to force yourself to improve your form, you might imagine that the Comet is definitely the best one to do that with. With the most forgiving to poor form being the Buzz SS, followed by the Meteor, and lastly, the Comet. And lastly, we are going to look at which discs are the best frozen ropes, which have the least amount of lateral movement. As you can see, the Meteor make a very subtle S curve out in the middle of the fairway there. Next, we are going to be throwing the Comet, as you can see, just absolutely dead straight, almost no lateral movement at all with a slight right finish. And then lastly, moving on to the Buzz SS, you can see it just comes out dead straight, but then has that reliable fade at the end. So when it comes to lateral movement, while all three of these discs make excellent frozen ropes, the least lateral movement is going to go to the Comet, then the Buzz SS, and lastly, the Meteor. And there you have it, folks. I hope that gave you a pretty good idea of how these discs fly in comparison to one another. Hopefully it helped you decide which one of these discs would be best for you. And if you guys want to get your hands on these discs or any other Discraft or DGA product, just make sure and visit resistancediscs.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks. And finally, moving on to giveaway information. If you want to get your hands on this 2021 Vanessa Van Dyke and Meteor, make sure you follow me and Resistance Discs on Instagram. I will link to our profiles and the giveaway post down below. And to get your hands on that Buzz SS, make sure and like, sub, and comment your favorite of these three discs down below. Make sure you visit resistancediscs.com. Again, huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, have a good one.